for our experience, Baroque music should be played, I exaggerate, in a rock way. When I first played with Bjork a few years ago, it was immediate kind of feeling of being soulmates, musical soulmates, and you don't often have this in any career, and it's when you find it, as in all of life, it's a very special thing. In the old music scene, for a long time, for my feeling, there were too many performers who thought that just playing the notes, say with the right instrument, on the right way, say that you have a trill that you know you have to start, and you have the right tuning and so on, that all these things together, that's already enough. Well, I completely disagree. Because, again, what the composer can write down is only just a very small part of the imagination he has. B-Rock is not an orchestra um, which is focused or centered around one person. So sometimes it's um, Frank leading it, sometimes we have guest leaders, we have solists, we have conductors giving their inputs. And I think that gives uh, the possibility to everybody to identify with this group. We spoke a lot about uh, artistic democracy, um, where in principle every musician has the right, sometimes even the duty, to speak in rehearsals. And I think as well uh, what we actually decided to do in 21 to have this Divino yeah. Mando. Like, oh. The second time with the decoration. Yes. Okay. That's not the easiest solution, because in our rehearsals we discuss a lot, we talk a lot, and you could say we lose maybe too much time. That's possible. But on the other hand, there is such an, a group of experience in the orchestra, um, which I think uh, you always have to benefit from. Just to try, maybe yeah. it's fun. It is important for each group to work with important, great interpreters. Why? Because then again you get a lot of input, new ideas, a new approach to music. A very interesting conductor, for instance, can suddenly change the sound of an orchestra, or he or she can give new ways of looking to score. And that, of course, is something which, if it's really something which, which we like, we will take to the next productions.
Venus and Adonis in Brugge uh, a few years ago. Uh, I think that was a high point for me in, in my career as well. But we had quite an intense amount of rehearsals and it's difficult music to put together. It's complex, but the concert was um, just one of those rare examples of everything coming together. Just from the very first moment, there was magic on the stage and it just got better and better. And one of the things we really like to do is everything which is linked to music theatre. We like opera because that's also a place where you can, can try out things. Because an orchestra on a scene already is, is also something visual. It's not like at home listening to a CD. The second thing is that it's very healthy for orchestra not only to play music of the past. Um, in a sense that music which is written now deals with completely different aesthetics but also different ways of playing. As an orchestral musician there is always the danger that you stick into a kind of playing which you continue for the rest of your life. And now, while playing this contemporary music, uh, there is a new challenge. So we take this experience with us when we go back to the 18th century music. Rock is eigenlijk om te beginnen een statement. There is a lot of input from different directions. Heel veel humor, joking, colors, fun, emotions, giving everything you have, new ideas, inspiration, a new approach to music. <laughs> 